Good afternoon, Kalispera. Welcome to Cost Town. It's been a few days since uh, my last update. In fact, this is the end of my second week in Cost Town. And I'm here outside the Hotel Sonia, which is where I'm staying. You can see behind me there. Very nice hotel. This is my second time in the hotel, having left to go to Kefalos for a few days and then came back again. We're just going to go and have a walk around Cost Town now, show you some of the sites, go down to the harbour and, uh, and have a look around. Very interesting town, it's late afternoon at the minute though, so pretty quiet. Good morning, Calimera. This is Kefalos, one of the many tourist resorts on the island. This is down on the southeast coast. It takes about 40, 45 minutes to get here from Cost Town by car. We've just driven down early in the morning. It's a little hazy today. It's been very hot here the last few days. Currently having a heat wave in Greece, so it's been 35, 36, 37 degrees. A little cooler today because it's a bit hazy. I'm only about 34, so <laughs> still pretty hot, but not quite as uh, crazy warm as it has been but we're just traveling around the island by car today to have a look at the sights it's a little quiet here actually more than i expected uh, one thing i didn't realize that you may or may not know is the main sort of village part of kefalos is actually inland so we're down here on the beach you can see it's very quiet and there's a few tavernas and cafes along the beach. The majority of it is a little bit inland. So I think if you were gonna stay here and you didn't have a car, it's uh, maybe not the easiest resort to get around. If you want the quiet life, then Kefalos may be the place for you. But if you want something with a little bit more energy, a bit more things to do and people around, then uh, Cost Town is a good choice. We've uh, moved on from Kefalos and taken a little four kilometre drive north to the north coast and this is a little village called Limnionas. I say village, uh, there's really not much here. There's a little cafe taverna uh, just off the port and behind me you may be able to see a very tiny little beach but there is no one on it at the minute. Uh, I don't expect that this place gets a lot of tourists because it's a bit off the beaten track but if you fancied a quiet spot and you're down near Kefalos, then maybe this is the place for you. Hello again. We are now a little further north to a little beach called Kohilari, which I think is known as a bit of a surfing kiting centre by the looks of the signs dotted around. I imagine it's quite breezy and maybe it gets quite busy later, but again, we're quite early in the morning. And as you can see behind me, not really anyone here at the moment. Mira again, we are still traveling around Kos in the little village of Antimachia now, which is right opposite the airport. It is known for the little windmill that you can see behind me there. It's uh, free to go in and have a look around and you can have a little guided tour of the windmill. They have a little shop there that you can buy little biscuits and things made from the flour from the windmill. There is also a castle just further north of here that we're going to visit in a few minutes. We've 
just arrived at Antimachia Castle or fortress you can see behind me uh, obviously just the ruins uh, but quite impressive, quite a large castle ruins and it's a little bit outside of Antimachia a few kilometres east just off the main road past the army base and we're now going to have a look inside Again, we've just arrived in the popular resort of Cardamina. This is a very popular resort and we're just having a walk along the harbour front here. You can see all of the boats behind me. And after this we're going to head back to Kos Town for a bit of a break before hiking up Mount Dikios. So let's just have a look around Cardamina and see what it's like. Kalispera, good afternoon from almost the summit of Mount Dikios on Kos. I'll show you a better view of the landscape behind me in a minute. We are not quite at the top. You can see behind me the top of the mountain. But we're starting to run out of time and we may or may not make it to the top. It's been pretty heavy going, but the view is uh, very impressive. Set off at six, we've been going 52 minutes, 3.31 kilometers from Zia, where we parked. And not far from the top. I think we're gonna try and make it, but we shall see. We have made it to the top of Mount Dikios, or Dikios, whatever the hell it's called. It took us an hour, 11 minutes, 4.28 kilometers, in case you wanna know. Breathtaking views, absolutely fantastic. afternoon welcome back to Greece Travel Guide today we are going to look at the castle in Kost Town so we're just walking around the harbour now and we will be there soon so we are here in Kost Town at Neratzia Castle which is the castle right near the ferry port it's uh, free to come and look around here. It's open from 8.30 till 3.30 every day except Tuesdays. As I found out when I tried to come here yesterday and it wasn't open because it's Wednesday today. So it was Tuesday yesterday, but it's uh, quite a large site. And we're gonna have a look around. You can see a little bit behind me here. Some uh, quite impressive ruins. The walls run all the way alongside the harbour front. So if you come from the ferry, you've certainly walked past this. And uh, you get access to it from just past the plane tree of Hippocrates. So if you find that tree, walk past it, you go over a bridge over the road and you will end up at the entrance to this castle. So let's have a look around.
We are here just outside the Casa Romana ruins in Cos Town and this is one of the local attractions. It's uh, remains of an ancient Roman villa, a two-story villa that you can go in and have a look around. It's pretty good. I've just been in. It costs six euros and there's quite a lot to see. Quite a few artifacts, some uh, clay pots, some coins, some walls and flooring, some mosaics. It's pretty good. So we are currently in the ancient ruins of the harbour quarter, which you can see behind me. And one thing you'll learn very quickly about Cost Town if you come here is it's absolutely jam-packed with ancient ruins. In fact, even just outside our hotel over the road, there's just old, you know, ancient rocks and uh, foundations of buildings that have been there for hundreds, if not thousands of years. And uh, yeah, you uh, you pretty much can't go anywhere in Cost Town without stumbling across some ruins, but uh, these ones are quite impressive, quite a large site here. 